guys, it's Lemming Rush, and today we're going to be doing a live gameplay in the Bat Chat. This is Bat Shit Crazy, well, the next episode in Bat Chat Bat Shit Crazy. Um, basically, I just want to sort of start doing live gameplays again. This is a lot more fun than up uploading um, uh, whatever they're called, stream highlights. So yeah, let's let's hop into a battle. Alrighty, so we're on the map Prokhorovka. It's a standard battle, and typically on Prokhorovka, what I like to do is I really, really like to take the center of the map, try to get early shots on the enemy. Um, one thing, though, like, when I look at the enemy lineup, I like to look at, you know, artillery and things like they have. Basically, I noticed that they've got an M60 and, an, and a bat shot, as well as a T92. It's likely all three of these guys are going to try to, you know, be pre-aiming on the center so i just want to be prepared mentally prepared for to see one like to get spotted if i get spotted i'm going to run away if i spot any of the, anyone basically who's going to be close to me i want to run away so i save my hp for the end of the game but if i don't get spotted we're going to poke up here we're going to see who we can farm and we do get spotted we spot the t92 who actually isn't aiming at us i want to see if i can clip this guy out because he's a fucking clicker take one hit perfect so we're going to repair that, and then we're just going to get safe. That was risky, but it's totally worth killing the artifag, in my opinion. T30s up here come to help us out. Um, we're going to run away for now. I think I want... Actually, no. What I'm not going to run away. I'm going to sort of play the ridges, see what I can spot. See if I can use the rest of these shells on someone. Generally, early damage is really important, so that's why I'm not going to um, waste these. Just, like, clip and, you know, have to reload just yet. Alright, so we're spotted, we're gonna get safe. They've got a lot of people in the middle, and this is why I'm happy that I still have three shells. Maybe I'll be able to put sh three shots into this KV-3, or, or even two, or anything. So, yeah, we're gonna try to use these. Um, generally, beginning game, you don't want to be trying to use all five of your shots, unless there's someone, you know, sitting in, fr in front of you like this, and it's safe to shoot at them. But, you know, this is why I didn't have five shells, because I don't want to expose myself for that long, when there's gonna be people camping back here, there's gonna be people camping back here, etc. So, yeah. Now that we're clipping, you know, they're, they're in the center of the map. We don't have much support. It's time to run away. We can definitely do that quite safely. Um, so we're just going to run away, look at the situation, and see if there are any more opportunities for damage. So T-54 up there. I'm going to assume these guys are still in the middle. So if that awful panther sees that there's no one, uh, looks like he's yelling at the one line. And if it looks like it's pretty clear, I might be able to poke back up and try to clip out people like that heavy. Um, he spots an E-100, a T-34, etc. So I want to try to help. Like, if these heavies push up, it's going to be problematic for, for us. So I want to try to prevent that if possible. I think to do that, we're going to have to work on the center of the map, so that way I can control the middle ridge and then put side shots on the one line, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I want to basically focus down the easiest kills first, uh, so we're going to go for the KV-4 if, if we have the chance. An easy spot to do that stuff is right over here. For the most part, you're safe from the enemies. We're going to aim for the track on this um, this guy here. Looks like those donked rip. Perfect, so that's one pen. I'm going to go for the second. And the KV-4 is poking. Let's try to make that hit. Perfect. Alright, so we've done 2k damage. We fired 10 shots already. I missed a lot of those shots there. I think most of it was RNG, though. Like, I aimed those shots pretty well there. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, I was okay with taking one hit from the IS-3. However, if I had taken a hit from the IS-3 or the KV-4, I would have just fallen back. Because it's not worth losing that much of your hit points right off the bat. Looks like we've got a couple people on the hill. They should ideally push through. The biggest threat, though, is people back here camping. It looks like most of their team's camping the one line, so though, so they should be able to push through, and hopefully they do that uh, relatively quickly. Spot the E3 over here. If he's facing us, uh, we obviously can't put shots into him, but it uh, looks like he's looking away, so I want to see if I can clip him out. Or anyone out, really. Like, they're moving up, and that's basically when the bat shot becomes super, super strong. So, this guy's here. We'll be able to put side shots into him. Since we killed the arty right off the bat, uh, we shouldn't have much problems with, you know... We don't have to worry about getting clicked, is basically what I'm trying to say. It's an IS-8 over there. Hopefully the E3 gets lit by that T30. Don't... I'm lit. So, we're going to get safe. Where's that E3 going? Okay. So, E3 is looking away. We're going to try to put shots into him. They're way too slim, though. I'd rather take higher higher shots that are more likely to hit, to be honest. Alright. I 
think I just want to clip out this 54 and the M60. That's what I'm going to do. M60 is 390 times 2. We should be able to kill him and the T54. So we're just going to sort of YOLO in. I'm going to use this rock for cover, and we're going to kill this M60. Even if I take a hit from him, it's not a big deal. It's worth the kill. And now we're going to get this 54. So we're going to YOLO. He's hauled down. I just want to get safe from campers over there. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I donked that one. Um, there's a T-71 way back there, so we're going to get safe. Um, typically, I like to play this ridge when you're working on the campers who are camping the one line. Um, but right now, we're just going to obviously have to focus on this T-71 because, you know, <laughs> he's right in front of us. He's keeping us lit, and we're reloading. All right, so he's gotten away. I guess that's it's not really a bad thing. Um, we should be able to now easily use this position, and he's obviously not going to be lighting us because he's going to go die. Alrighty, so I'm going to pop up to this bush here, see what I can spot. I'm going to do it slowly because I definitely don't want to get, you know, raped by anyone camping back there. So, spot a T30, he's actually moving up, which means I can just pop over this ridge and clip him out. So that's what we're going to do. We aren't a one-shot for him, so that's good. If we do take a hit from him, though, that's not going to be too good. Okay, so we put a shot into this guy, we bounce. I want to aim the rest of these shots to make sure they go in. I'd rather take the hit from this guy and kill him than, you know, run out and die to him. Watching my map to make sure no one's flanking me. We're just gonna... Oh, rip. Come on, pen. Okay. So T-34 there. I'm gonna get under these guys' guns, and this is really how you want to play this map. Like, we're just gonna sit on these ridges and keep repeating the process that we just did. Obviously, we're a bit too low HP to go taking hits from people, but we are able to, you know... <laughs> still abuse our clip a ton after these guys fire and stuff. You can see the teammates are moving up to support us, so that's even better. Um, looks like the only teammate, like the only enemies that are over here is the IS-8 and the 34. So we're going to clip out that IS-8 who just shot. Well, we're actually going to reload-ish at the same time that he reloads, but we should be able to kill him. Yeah, he's a three shot. Okay. So that shot missed. I'm getting really weird RNG now. We're shooting heat because we actually ran out of APCR, which is uh, amazing. T-34 is a three-shot. We're going to YOLO him. This is the end of the game. Basically, you just want to go for damage now. If I lose, it's like these guys aren't going to lose to a two-shot T-34. So we're going to aim these. Uh, we're not going to aim them, I guess. I'm getting really weird RNG here. I'm actually surprised that bounced. But yeah, that was uh, 4,946 damage, four kills. Bit weird on the RNG there, but it is what it is. We still did a lot of damage there. So yeah, can't complain. Let's go look at the end plates. Alrighty, so that was 70,000 credits earned, 1704 XP. That wasn't the double, but I do use a premium account. So yeah, that would have been 1,136 XP without a premium account. Almost 5k damage, 4 kills. I'm pretty happy with that result. I want to see how much win 8 that was. That was 6,447 win 8. So yeah, um, I hope you guys will enjoy. I'm going to start doing more live gameplays, like I said at the beginning of the video. So yeah, now that I've figured out how to use OBS to record, you should be seeing more of these and less stream highlights. So yeah, um, if you like this video, and you want to see more, be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button. And yeah, I hope to see you around. Later, guys. Bye-bye.